What is going on, I have Warriors? So today we have probably the best breakdown video I've ever seen on what intermittent fasting does. Now, the title is a little hyperbolic, Fasting Cures Everything, because it doesn't cure everything, but it does assist in prevention and helping uh, uh, in, in, in curing uh, certain things in your body. And this breaks down how that happens so perfectly that I had to share this. Like I couldn't keep it to myself. I had to share it with the uh, with the Fledge Fitness community. So let's go ahead and uh, take a quick look at this. You guys are 100% going to enjoy this. Let, let's go ahead and hit play. My food contains glucose. The fuel that feeds the trillions of healthy cells in my body. But that glucose also feeds something else. Zombie cells. Old damaged cells that have lingered beyond their useful life. By spewing toxic sludge, these zombies infect other healthy cells, speeding up the aging process. Everything from hair loss and wrinkles to the onset of arthritis, cancer, and dementia. But what scientists have realized is that when we fast and cut off the supply of glucose, that zombie army is starved of energy, which saps them of their power. When food is plentiful, our body stores excess energy in the form of fat under the skin and around the internal organs. When food is scarce, that fat is sent to the liver, where it's turned into an alternative fuel source called a ketone. And it's these ketones which provide the emergency power source, not only for our bodies, but also our brains. Remember those toxic zombie cells aging my body? Well, they're not the only things getting dealt with. Even inside my healthy cells, there's wear and tear. But scientists think that without food to process, those cells can switch into repair mode. Fixing damage, cleaning up garbage, nipping any problems in the bud. With the zombies in check and the rest of me in tip-top condition, the future looks healthier and also longer. So basically, that was a per that was a perfect 3D animation explaining uh, what the mechanisms are happening in in the body. Now, this is still in a somewhat. Uh, we're still exploring this, uh, what goes on, right? We, we've tested it in animals. We've seen uh, the nematode uh, worm is probably one of the best to test something like this in terms of biological longevity because they die at a specific rate that is very, very fast. Uh, and they've tested it on them where they you know, had them fast, the ones that fasted lived just biologically lived longer than the ones that did not fast, right? And they saw all these different mechanisms that were happening and they look at the human body when the human body is, is, is fasting and they notice that these mechanisms trigger the same thing, right? There's the cell repair, there's the uh, starving of the, uh, the, the, the cells that are infecting other cells. So they see that happening. Now, there are studies that have come out that was like, hey, look, you know, intermittent fasting causes death quicker than, than not fasting or fasting causes death quicker than not fasting. But it is a, a cohort study that just looks at normal living people and it doesn't take into account their actual lifestyles, their their eating habits, their their health habits, right? Because the majority of those who were fasting were not fasting on purpose. They were fasting because it tended to come from lower income. Um, there were also a big majority of those people were smokers, drinkers, right? So they had uh, other reasons why they were. It wasn't just 
looking at the biology of fasting in a vacuum versus not fasting in a vacuum there's so many other things that were attached to that so it, it, that that kind of cohort looking from uh you know from 100 million miles away paying attention to to normal living people it doesn't really work uh to prove that intermittent fasting uh, has life longevity or not in comparison to those who don't but this video just explains the things that are happening with glucose. It's just glucose, it, it does so many different things. And then when, when your body uses ketones, this is another reason why body fat is reduced much quicker with intermittent fasting because body fat is not only being used uh, for fuel, um, normally, like normal fuel, the fuel that be, being at a net negative energy balance or just that normal daily uh, being uh, at a negative balance, positive balance, the fuel of th that comes from body fat, it's also being used, it's doubling down on your body fat usage because it's also being used to turn um, the, the, the triglycerides uh, and the fatty acids is being used to turn into uh, ketones and that's providing emergency energy uh emergency energy but we could survive off of it for a good a decent amount of of time uh so yeah there you go uh, this was literally my favorite 3d animation explaining um you know fasting it does it cure everything absolutely not that is hyperbolic but it's a, a clickable title so i i get it i'm a content creator i understand i understand that stuff uh but the the context uh, or the content is actually pretty uh, top tier. Love it. All right, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Let me t let me know if you guys like this and if you want to share this with somebody who's maybe debating you on uh, intermittent fasting or fasting in general. Go ahead and share this video. And of course, as always, we'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.